Hey guys! Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, this is my first video tutorial that I'm doing for this look. It's an Edie Sedgwick twiggy inspired look and I really liked doing it and I hope you enjoy. It's sort of mod and I love the way it looks when it's on profile. My friend Caroline, she wanted me to show her how to do this so this is just for her. Please be nice, it's my first video so rate, comment, subscribe, like, okay? Thanks! See you in a sec! Hey! Welcome back! So I've already primed my lid with Urban Decay uh, Primer Potion and you could use any eyeshadow base you want. And then I'm gonna start off by putting Vanilla and Blanc Type, it looks very similar, on all over the top of my lid and over my crease. I'm just packing it on a fluffy brush like this one and I'm just applying it all over the lid, just like I said. Now you can use any white that you have, a store brand, a pharmacy brand, excuse me, anything. I'm just packing that on to the lid just to make it really bright and white. And I'm going to wing it out a little bit because when you put that liquid liner on and make that line on the top, um, you're going to be extending farther than your actual, well, like, eye line. You're going to be stretching out here. So once you got it the brightness that, that you want, I think I'm pretty good. I hope you could see that. <clears throat> you're going to take an angled brush, and you're going to start to simulate the side, the, the line of the side you've already done. Um, I'm just taking a MAC brush, this is an angled brush, an eyeliner brush, and I'm taking um, an eyeshadow that's a couple shades darker than my skin tone. So I'm taking bamboo and cork and I'm just mixing these two in. I hope you could see the color. Um, mixing them two on the brush and then I'm going to start to draw out that line onto my lid. So to do this part, you're going to need a little bit of patience. And you're just going to want to start above your tear duct and above your natural crease. You're going to just start simulating the same shape that you've done on the other side. Now you're doing this with the lighter colors, so if you mess up, you could, of course, fix it. See, now when you get to the end of your natural um, eyelid, outer corner, you're going to want to start bringing it down, and then at the end you're going to want to flick out the, the line. So you're going to bring it down like that, so that when you look to the side it's going to create that shape of like liquid liner, or a cat eye, excuse me. You're going to go out about this much all the way up to there and you're going to want to put that eyeshadow, the cork and bamboo pretty dark so that you can start bringing it down like bringing down the color so I'm going to take a dense uh, paddle brush a dense bristled paddle brush and I'm just putting the same eyeshadow, those two onto the thing, onto the brush and I'm going to start bringing it down. So start blending down those two colors, those two light browns. And then you're going to start, you're going to be able to add a darker color onto the top. Mine's fine. Just gonna add a little bit more of the color on the outer part of my eye. I think it went too low. But anyways, all these things are fixable with a little bit of eye makeup remover. So once you've got that, you see how it flicks up? You're ready to add your next color. So I'm gonna use Mystery by MAC. It's a chocolate brown. 
and I'm just pretty much using that guideline I made with the last color and I'm putting it right on the top of that little color of the color where I first applied it. And then you're going to do the same thing and you're going to take that dense brush, the one that you used before, same one you used before, and I'm just patting on a little bit of the color and I'm going to start blending it down as well, just like I did last time. You're essentially creating a, a mini rainbow on your eyelid of skin toned colors. Or like natural colors now once we finish with that chocolate brown color I'm just gonna add a tad bit more to the inner um, part of the line the inner corner part of the line just so that it could have that pop I like that. See, it's starting to look like that one. Then next, I'm going to take a matte black color. This one's from uh, Sugar Pill. It's called Bulletproof, I think, yeah. And it's cracked, but I'm just going to use a little bit at a time just so I could control the color of where it's going. And I'm going to do the same thing as I priorly did with the mystery color. Sorry, I'm not really talking very much. It's taking a little bit of patience, and I'm trying not to shake my hand so that I could come out smoothly. Now I'm blending out that line so I won't be so harsh into all the other colors. See, now you've pretty much got the same thing as this side. I mean, it's not exactly like, it's actually really a, a bit different. Um, this one comes down a little more, but once you put the liquid liner in, you're not going to notice as much. So, you're just going to blend that out, try to do it perfectly, and then now you're going to add, just as a highlight, before you do your liquid liner, I'm just adding Vanilla from MAC, just the same one that I put on my lid along with Blanc Type, and I'm putting that on underneath my eyebrow bone, or on my eyebrow bone. This is a highlight, and I'm doing the same. I'm going to put this in the inner tear duct. Okay, now I'm going to put on my liquid liner and mascara and eyelashes, and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, so I've already put my mascara on, my eyelashes, and I put a black eyeliner on the upper waterline. Now I'm also going to put... Um, mixed jumbo eye, jumbo eye pencil in milk on my bottom waterline just to open up the eye a little bit more like that and I'm also with um, my angled brush that I used earlier I'm going to use the color mystery that chocolate brown and I'm going to create these little faux lashes underneath my bottom eyelid I'm just going to do like that, three of them, just to create that little bit of um, volume underneath there. And then after I put the mystery color, I'm going to use that black from Sugar Pill, color called Bulletproof, just a little bit, just to define them even more. Okay. 
Now, final touches are just going to be some mineralized skin finish just to contour my cheeks. I'm going to use medium deep. And I'm going to put it on my temples as well and down my nose. Hopefully um, the lighting was not too bright that you can't really see, but yeah. And then after that, I'm going to line my lips with Oak a Lip Liner from MAC. That's what it looks like. Just fairly quickly. Like so. And then I'm going to put Viva Glam 2 on top. This is a fairly nude color on me. That's what it looks like. And then... I'm going to add a little bit of a highlight on my cheekbones. So I'm going to use Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC in Soft and Gentle. And I'm using a flat brush for this. I'm just packing it onto the brush. And I'm just brushing it over my cheekbones. So now you're pretty much done with the look. And I hope you guys liked it. This is what the eyes look like. I use that as eyelashes only on the corners of my eyelids. And yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this. And I hope you guys have fun trying. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, like the video, please. It's my first one, so be nice. Okay, bye.